I graduated in 2010. And uh, my master's thesis, you know, we didn't think to, of publishing from it. So we just left. I just moved on com straight to my PhD. And I did a couple of publications uh, from my PhD. And uh, early this year, my, my supervisor, you know, he was sitting at home going through stuff. And he's like, he picked up my thesis. He's like, oh, we never published this. Your uh, master's. Yeah. And that is like 15 years later, right? And then he picks up. Uh, we write a publication. We didn't change anything. You know, what we got, what we did, because obviously over time, 15 years, you'd expect, it, you, you'd expect that lots of things have changed. Uh, you know, maybe someone has disproved what we've done. And, you know, it, it's no longer relevant, right? It's a long time in academia, 15 years. But uh, without changing anything, uh, we published in one of the uh, foremost international journals uh, two months ago. That, that 2010 work is now published Amazing. in 2025 <laughs> with, no, with no changes or yeah. no, no additional work. So what it just underlines is that, you know, the fundamental work we put in, you know, was so rigorous and, uh, it, it, you know, it withstands the, the test of time. Because after I finished my, my PhD, there's, there's quite a lot of other guys who've done research in, in, in microwaves. Uh, from you know, in Canada, and, and none of that has rendered your your 2010 masters. Yeah, they've, they've either confirmed what I've done uh, 